Yeah. And they were mm -hmm. excellent. They were very, very good in their response to us, uh, mm -hmm. to, the, to the issue at hand, the, the day that we uh, w w spent with them, uh, some, well, several hours during a day, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I I'm sure that if our viewers were to contact them specifically, as well as our other elected people from the local legislature, even your city council, I'm sure, sure. Could, could be effective. But we'll at any do, rate, hmm. you know, please, please do so. Please, if there's nothing else you feel you can do, I'm sure you can take a moment to call, to write, to email these people about your concern for others, for other people in your community that need our help. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, that's good. That's I, I, really good. I think that's good. the kind of thing that, that we we try to promote here, and sure. I'm sure obviously you're trying to promote. Um, how, how long have you been with the uh, with the Rhode Island Coalition for the Homeless now? Laura? I it'll be two years in April. Oh, two years. Good oh. Thing. Right. So you've got a good insight. You've been you've got a real working effort now, a couple of years in, into what's going on, and you've got a hit. Right. In my role at the coalition, I'm the shelter and housing provider network coordinator, the which is a, coordinator. the shipping coordinator, <laughs> which is a very long title, which means I work closely with our shelter providers, our housing providers, mm -hmm. other community-based organizations that really work with folks experiencing homelessness or at risk of becoming homeless. Mm -hmm. um, providing them with technical assistance, training, um, and even a monthly meeting where those direct service providers come together, get to know each other face-to-face, uh, -face, have the opportunity um, to network, uh, exactly. build relationships and share information and resources. We often have a guest speaker that comes in that talks to them about a particular service or program that they have to offer. So it's a really wonderful opportunity for those that are doing the groundwork, the frontline works day in and day out to come together um, and really collaborate and build a stronger network of service delivery. Wow. And how do, how do you see that uh, with the economy going the way it is? Unfortunately, it's going in the wrong direction for mm -hmm. many of us to be mm -hmm. philanthropic and to really want to uh, yeah. help monetarily. Um, not that not that you can't or shouldn't. Of course, if you can afford to, please do so. Mm -hmm. But the point, my point, um, the point that I'm trying to make or the question I'm trying to ask, better put, is with things going the way they are, with, uh, with foreclosures the way they are, not just in the state of Rhode Island, but all around the country, yeah, with, yeah. Uh, with the economics being the way they are locally and nationally, mm -hmm. um, what do you see happening? Is it the obvious? Is it just this, this situation just going to get worse? Are more of us going to be homeless this year mm -hmm. than last? And, and are more of us going to, in 2013, looking at even, I don't mean to be depressing our viewers, but I think it's something that we have to really face. We can't hide it. We have to look at it, stare it in the eye if we're going to do anything to be helpful and correct it. Sure. You know? And, you know, and I'm certainly not well versed in, in economics and doing those types of projections, mm -hmm. but I know when this all started a couple of years ago, people were, were asking the homeless service delivery system, you know, what's going to happen, you're going to be inundated. Um, and sure, our numbers started to rise mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. starting in, I'd say, 2007, 2008, and have continued to rise ever since. And now we've seen all of those issues come together, high unemployment, foreclosures, all those things that Rhode Island has really been hardest hit by. Yeah. We, lead, we lead New England in foreclosures. Mm -hmm. We have extremely high, high uh, unemployment rate. Mm -hmm. um, Lots of big challenges that keep people languishing in our system where if they had jobs that they could sustain housing with, right. you know, real viable um, employment opportunities, our so, system so could people move can't forward. people get in because yeah. the right. old people are still there. Correct. Uh, people that watch the show um, have heard me say this just recently, so I don't mean to be redundant, but I, it, it's still applicable in this conversation as well. Uh, you're probably aware that Rhode Island is is at least around second in unemployment in the nation, only second in to Alaska nation? in the nation. Oh, and we're number one wow. in mental illness mm -hmm. in wow. the country. What? That to, and the reason I mentioned- Rhode Island, yes, number one mental number, illness? We're number one per capita in mental illness. Wow. We have more per capita mental illness in Rhode Island, you know, on a percentage basis, I'm yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Than, than any other state. I don't mean, listen, I'm a Rhode Islander. I love this state and I love the people here in. Yeah. It, that's, I'm not here downing anyone. What I am trying to say, however, is with that in mind, these things promote uh, substance abuse, child abuse, uh, divorce. Mm -hmm. There's so many negative aspects to what we're discussing Domestic here. Domestic violence, that was a big exactly. one that you were talking exactly. about earlier too. So many things come to play that are not <coughs> nice, that are not negative. We need to stop this kind of thing. We need to help one another. We sure. can't have people living out in the cold. We can't have people hungry. We can't have our children not having lunch in school. There are so many things. We're sure. involved at the Aid Foundation mm -hmm. in trying to help so many people, but there's only so much as, a, as, as an organization we can do sure. at this point. We're trying to do more all the time, but there is only so much we can do, just like your organization. Mm -hmm. 
we, uh, we, we, I'm sure we're, gonna, we're involved with you, so to speak, and that we'll, we'll be willing to help with you whatever, whatever way we can Wonderful. and vice versa. Sure. Um, and one of those ways, I'm sure, is we'll have a link where uh, if, they, if they go to our, our uh, website, mm -hmm. www.aidefoundation.org, they'll be able to link it and, and get, uh, get Laura and uh, the nice folks at the Rhode Island Homeless Organization, Rhode Island Homeless uh, Coalition for the Homeless, excuse me. Uh, but the bottom line is, this, this, this whole conversation for me gets a little bit depressing, and I don't want to sure. depress our viewers, but again, I, I want them to know how serious this is. Mm -hmm. and that's that's a good question, though, I mean, because so many people, you know, whether they need prescription drugs, they do, does your you. organization supply that if they run out of their prescriptions? We don't, not at the coalition. We don't provide uh, direct services um, at our agency, oh, okay. but a number of our members do, and oh. oftentimes they have access to uh, prescription assistance funds, or there are a number of, of companies that offer um, prescription assistance uh, oh. discount program cards uh -huh. that you can use it at various uh, right, pharmacies. Like or, my, uh, I'm not going to say that, but... So if some people, I just almost said it, but some people you know, may have experienced um, like heart attacks and, mm -hmm. uh, and then all of a sudden if they find themselves unemployed, they still need that heart medicine. Mm -hmm. And cancer medicine. And, and cancer so many, sure. medicine, so all that. Sure, and a lot of times folks can work with their, uh, their physicians, their doctors who are treating them and they'll attack, get them plugged into various trials or oh. even their physicians have yeah. lots of samples mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. there's places, you know, like other companies that offer discounted uh, prescription drugs. So mm -hmm. what, what it ends up becoming is a real um, balancing act. Yeah, and, okay. and you really have to become very savvy at navigating a very complicated yep. system yeah. to simply yeah. Be make ends meet yeah. and to get something as necessary as a medication. Right, well, right, Unfortunately, right. I guess I'm in a negative mood because what comes to mind, and it isn't about you. You're chocolate? Gonna, what, yeah, chocolate. <laughs> what comes to mind Where do we get is the chocolate? if you can't afford a place to live and you can't afford clean clothes and you can't afford, you don't have a place to get cleaned up and you don't have a cell phone or any other mm. viable means for, of communication, it's how hard to avail yourself of all of any resource that's out there to help you. It's 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 got to be so overwhelming. Yeah, sure. and, yeah. And, um, that's got to be tough. But for the grace of God, you know, right. we, we, it could be happen to any of us. And, oh uh, yeah. And there's no. By the way, I must say also, my, uh, strictly my opinion, but there's no shame in any of this. Right. I mean, some of the hardest working, nicest people I know have hit difficult times. Right. It, it, it's amazing that uh, some of the some mm -hmm. bad things happen to some of the nicest people yeah. I've ever met. Yeah. Absolutely. And, uh, whether it's health or econ economics or anything. It's just difficult sometimes in life, mm -hmm. and we. And again, I don't. Uh, not to be redundant, I said that too. But we need to help one another. Sure, we really do. Sure, and and folks don't need to necessarily show up in person to even figure out what services may be available. The United Way has a wonderful system set up through its 211 system where you simply dial 211, hmm. and you're connected to an individual that can direct you oh. out into the community, based on what needs you're looking wow. for. So if you're calling and you're saying, I need food, or I need help paying my utilities, or I need rental assistance, you simply pick up the phone, dial 211, and talk to the wonderful folks at the United Way, and they can direct you out to those community-based organizations wow. uh, directly. That's good information to mm -hmm. know. And they even have a website. So again, you, it's another way you can start to begin the process of getting connected to some really mm -hmm. important services. Wow. And uh, I think this is all important information. It I think is. Anybody that, uh, that needs, I, 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 in, in line with what I've just said moments ago, probably someone that's in this situation doesn't have a TV or the means to watch us. Right. But, but that doesn't mean that you can't tell them. That doesn't mean that you don't see the fella on the corner and you tell him or, or her or mm -hmm. someone, I know a way, I know someone that's willing to help you and you can dial 211 on, on your phone. That's you can good. dial 211 on my phone mm -hmm. if yeah. you'd like yeah. And, yeah. and give a call. Yeah. We, need, we, need to, we just need to help one another. Right. It's just the right thing to do. It it's just the right thing. Especially there's so many children involved, Laura. That's, sure. I, I, the, the elderly, which yep. I'm soon to be oh. one, and children. It's, yep. I, that I find kills it, me. Find yeah. To see elderly out there homeless, oh. Mm -hmm. and, and the children, and children, as and well. children and too, right. yep. and the pets too. They go along with well, the homeless yeah. people. Well, yeah, you and I are big pet lovers. We and, are, and uh, it's, it's amazing uh, all those things. Um, so, Laura, any suggestions? We're we're getting close to this is going by real fast, and we're getting yeah. close to the end of the program. Any suggestions as to um, what we can do, Poppy and I, our viewers, to be of help to you? What can we do? Any number of things. As I mentioned, volunteering year-round is always welcome at a number now, of how do providers. How do they reach you to do that? How do our viewers reach you 
to, to, to a volunteer? On our website, uh, www.rihomeless.org. Okay. They can visit that website. There's a number of service providers that are listed on our website. Okay. Um, so they can call them directly through that, that website, find their Good. information. Um, our website also has wonderful educational resources and information. Um, there's an online petition so that you can log on to our website, fill out the online petition, tell the governor directly that you're concerned about the issue of homelessness mm -hmm. and affordable housing in Rhode Island. Um, what, and and uh, any events coming up that uh, we can help you promote or? We have a, a homeless memorial that's coming up actually on January the 25th. It will be held oh. at the Beneficent Round Top Center in downtown Providence. It's actually a somber event. It's where we remember those that have passed uh, throughout the year, those oh. that have uh, been homeless or formerly homeless. Mm. And every year it's a very somber moment, but it's a very important event because it provides those in our community who are often um, on the outskirts forgotten. and forgotten. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The time for not to just be remembered, but for the community to mourn their passing and, and, and to really celebrate wow. their lives. Wow. Boy, am I glad this isn't our Christmas show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but this is, I say that in jest, just to lighten up a little bit. Sure. This is so important. Sure. And, 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 uh, and uh, I, I hope, I'm glad that we're able to help here at Reach Out. And we appreciate and, and, that. And, and uh, let everybody know. I don't know how many people knew out there that was a Rhode Island Coalition, Coalition of the Homeless, and you did so much for so many. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and let me thank you and commend you and your organization uh, for you. doing such a thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Uh, Poppy, I, I don't know, what do, you, what do you think about all this? Uh, well, I mean, it's so, uh, it is sad. You know, homelessness is... Uh, it's not pretty. I mean, out in L.A., when I was living out there, it, you know, you'd see the homeless all the time, but it was so nice outside. It wasn't a big deal. There you know, was, we was never Rolex, a winter. Homeless, I mean, yeah. Rolex watches. You know, and, and then they, <laughs> they would make it funny, like, um, they would make it funny, like, we'll work for beer or, or you know, give me beer or yeah, I yeah, need yeah. beer. Mm -hmm. Work for drugs and beer. Yeah, and, yeah I mean, kind of they, but, um, but, I, but I, you know, winters are tough and... Uh, Especially here up in the Northeast, they yeah. sure. they're and on kids, yeah. and and it's just it is sad. And so, I, so what about the future of your organization? Where do you see it going, uh, and what do you see happening uh, in the in the in the predictable future as far as uh, all of this is concerned? Do you do you, do you think that uh, you'll be making more inroads? You think you'll be Honestly, I hope I'm out of a job someday. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> and we all say that. Right we all right say that at the coalition. Right a lot yeah. of our providers say that, that they look forward to the days when they can really lock the shelters. Right. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be wonderful? Um, and we can, because we can solve, we can solve, we can solve homelessness. Not, yeah. not only that, but bright, mm -hmm. articulate, wonderful people like you will always find work. So <laughs> Thank that, you. So you won't, well, hopefully you won't never in homelessness then. No. Yeah. Hopefully Good. in some other, other growing field. Um, but it's, it's. The hope that we can really get the political will and the funding to support the solutions to ending homelessness. Yeah. We know what will work. And we have programs that are already in existence, mm -hmm. like Housing First Program, yep. that provide people with supportive housing, provide people with a safe place to live, and move them out of homelessness. Mm. And I can't think of a better way to end the show than that. That was no. just great. L Laura, thank Laura, you so thank much. You we're out of time. I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank so you. Much. Poppy, we're out of time. I could talk to Laura for weeks. It's, it, it's, <laughs> it's <laughs> terrific. Uh, maybe, maybe you'll come back and see us again. Absolutely. It'd be wonderful I'd love have you to. back. And uh, maybe, maybe I'll show up on time this time. <laughs> It's been a great segment. Yeah. Uh, that lovely lady we had, uh, Lara Jaworski from the Rhode Island Coalition for the Homeless, was articulate. She was she bright. Was great. She was wonderful. Great. I hope she'll come back and see us again. Yeah. And I hope you will too. So Absolutely. I think that's a wrap, Poppy. I think it's a wrap. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Happy New Year. Thank God bless you. you all. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.